Today on DC News Now, clouds and the chance of rain to end the work week. Meteorologist Damon Madsen times out when the showers move in and out of the region. Firefighters say that three people are still missing after flames ripped through a home here in Montclair. The latest on the victims who were able to escape. We'll tell you about the projects approved by one federal agency to make your flying experience, or at least getting to the airport, a lot easier. Also, looking for a good workout. We can provide a place that reduces the stress for you and makes you feel better. Get an inside look at a new fitness hub in this week's Moco Minute. And what's happening this weekend in the DMV. We're going over the events you don't want to miss. You're watching the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. And good afternoon and thank you for joining us for the news at noon. I'm Mark Hall, meteorologist Damon Matson joins us now with a check on the forecast. Damon, first of all, happy Friday. Happy Friday, my friend. You know, a lot of folks are ready for the weekend. I hope you have some good news. Indeed, yeah, Mark. We've had some improvement here as we've gone toward the end of the week. All good signs pointing toward the weekend, but we do have a few things we're watching as we go throughout this Friday afternoon. Some of you already may have noticed, despite a sunny start to this day, clouds are starting to roll back in once again. It's been overcast for some portions of northern Virginia up into north central Maryland throughout the day, but now we're seeing that cloud deck rolling east toward I-95 and the district. And this cloud cover is the result of a front that is trying to push on through parts of the Great Lakes, the Mid-Atlantic. That front is still hung up back across Buffalo and Cleveland, but out ahead of it, we're getting that cloud cover and we have the possibility for some showers across portions of the DMV. No, we're not expecting widespread rainfall like what we had earlier in the week. But the spotty to isolated showers will spark up around the two to three o'clock hour and continue as we head into the evening time. So we'll break down where these showers are most likely to develop as we head throughout the rest of the day and what this front could mean then for our weekend forecast moving into Saturday and Sunday. That's coming up in a full look at that forecast here in just a bit. All right, Damon, thank you. Prince William County fire crews are on scene of a massive house fire on Piedmont Place in Montclair, Virginia. Efforts are still underway to find the three people who live in the home. DC News Now's Liberty Simmons is at the house with the latest from the investigation. Mark, it's still a very active scene out here. Firefighters are still working on the home behind me. Now we are along Piedmont Place where you can see the destruction left behind at this two story family home and firefighters say they're still searching for three people who were inside. Flames could be seen tearing through the home just before six this morning. Prince William County Fire and Rescue says they got several calls from people in the neighborhood. Now when units arrived, they found the two story home up in in flames. They initiated an aggressive interior fire fight. Firefighters say an unknown number of people who were living in the basement were able to escape unharmed, but three people in another part of the home are unaccounted for. Firefighters are working to stabilize the structure of the home to be able to do a deeper search inside. My mom and I used to walk around this neighborhood all the time and just try to see that building fire it really hurt. And you can see what firefighters are just dealing with. We're still seeing smoke coming from the top of the roof of the home right there. Now we did also see several residents here. Many of them were in tears. They did not wish to go on camera. However, the American Red Cross was on scene to support those victims. And right now firefighters are still investigating the cause of this fire. For now live here in Montclair, Liberty Simmons, DC News Now. All right, Liberty, thank you. With well, this afternoon, dock workers are back on the job after reaching a tentative agreement. The union representing 45,000 striking workers now agreeing to suspend the strike until mid-January. That includes people in Norfolk and Baltimore. In a joint statement, the union and ports said that they reached a tentative agreement on wage increases. The ports increasing their offer from 50% pay raises to 62% over the next six years. 
union members would still need to approve any wage increases before it goes into effect. Maryland Governor Wes Moore congratulating the workers, saying, quote, our state is not complete without the men and women that work these ports every day. President Biden also celebrating the agreement in a statement. He argues that the new deal shows that collective bargaining works and is essential for the economy, he says the process is critical to building a stronger economy from the middle out and bottom up. And supporters of a missing Manassas Park mother, Mother Kafle Bot, are not giving up on the search. Members of the Nepalese community are setting up a booth for their Desai uh, Tahir Festival this weekend. Now, organizers say that they will be setting up a table for Manta at the festival this Saturday. And the festival is a Nepalese holiday tradition, and it will include Nepali food, culture, tradition, music, and rituals. And that officials or organizers hope that the booth can encourage those in the Nepalese community and larger community to come forward with any information on Mamta's case. That's the whole purpose of this, is to make sure that everybody knows she's still in our heart. We're still going to fight for her justice. We're still standing for her, and the whole community is supporting her. And that's the message we want to give. Meantime, Mamta's husband, Naresh Bhatt, is remains in custody, charged with concealing the body. His next court appearance is set for October 10th. Mamta's supporters say that they will continue to show their support. In Fairfax County, police are investigating a crash near George Mason University. It happened near Braddock Road and Carriage Park Road last night. Crews rushed one of the drivers to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The cause of the crash is under investigation. Well, in our schools, Alexandria Public Schools giving free blood tests to certain elementary school students today. The tests come after lead was found at Naomi Brook Elementary School, and the school is now undergoing an extensive cleaning process. This is the second round of free tests. The first were given out yesterday. It will be available at the Alexandria Health Department on Mark Center Drive. Students, staff, faculty, and volunteers can get a blood test between one and six today. Leaders say that the school will reopen on Monday. Well, DC naming its Teacher of the Year, Mayor Bowser and other leaders surprising Jasmine Townsend with the honor. She teaches at Stanton Elementary School in Ward 8. And we spoke with Townsend, and she has advice for other teachers looking to make a difference in the classroom. Every student deserves someone who is irrationally passionate about their success, about their academic achievement, and bringing your true, authentic self to the classroom every single day is what makes the difference for students. Well, yesterday was also her birthday, and the same day that she received the award, and she is now heading to participate in the National Teacher of the Year program. Congratulations to her. A new report from the Northern Virginia Families for Safe Streets is tracking near misses in Fairfax County. The study shows about 90% of people self-reported near misses after a recurring problem in the county. Many say the reason is because drivers are failing to yield. One spokesperson from the advocacy group says that the report helps identify dangerous driving areas in the county. The idea is to try and get ahead of a crash, right? We, we don't want to be reactive and wait until someone is killed or seriously injured to react. Well, the group says it sent the data to police and county leaders in hopes of improving driving behavior. Well, this month is National Pedestrian Safety Month and the Governor's Highway Safety Association says that more than 7,000 people were killed in traffic crashes last year. That is about 14% higher than pre-pandemic levels. And the last time we saw that many people killed was back in 1984. Well, maneuvering your way to and from Reagan National Airport may get a little better. National Park Service has approved the projects that will improve safety and create more ways for people traveling out of DCA. DC News Now's Tosin Fakila explains the improvements designed to make it a little easier for you to catch your flight. National Park Service approved the projects yesterday. One project makes it so that driving isn't the only option for people going between Crystal City and DCA. The other project will reduce congestion on the roads at this airport. And if you've been to DCA, you know that airport roadway can quickly get congested. MPS says the first project will make it easier for people to walk, bike, or use public transportation like bus or train between Crystal City and DCA. MPS worked with the Federal Highway Administration 
Administration and VDOT because the project requires permission to use land from George Washington Memorial Parkway. On the second project, MPS worked with the FAA and Airports Authority. This project makes improvements to the roads at the airport to reduce congestion. All right, let's get into these upgrades. It will better traffic flow and have clearer signage, additional parking for the public and airport employees, constructing a new multi-use facility that will include a consolidated rental car center. Officials say the current rental car center is inefficient and not big enough for rental car demands. Now, this project also creates a new corporate airports authority office space. MPS says that office space is leased off airport grounds in Crystal City. And Arlington officials say the connection between Crystal City and DCA will be better defined later this fall. I'm Tosin Fakile for DC News Now. Back to you. All right, Tosin, thank you. According to Metro, more people are taking the bus. They say September was the best month for bus ridership since 2020. Metro also says 11% more people are taking the bus compared to last year. Rail trips are rising as well, up 8% compared to last September. Well, if you're looking for a spooky place to spend the night, an Airbnb ranking their top 10 spookiest homes ahead of Halloween. One home in Richmond, Virginia made the list, and here you can see images of the Black Pine. It provides people with a supposedly haunted getaway, and Airbnb says that the home is also near the city's most popular haunted sites.